Hello guys, uh, welcome to Focatier uh, Entertainment. Today I will show you how to configure a geo replication for Azure SQL databases. So we already logged on to the portal and I have a uh, one database here listed. Okay, so click on that one and under the property just scroll down under the settings you see an option called geo replication. Just click on that one it will bring up a map where it will show your existing database so this is your current database location okay so you can see here if we scroll down so it is current under east us the primary it says uh, geo replication is not configured you can have a target regions here it says the recommended one which says which is the nearest one so if you go back to here you can see it says the west us is the recommended one but however you can go ahead and select the other regions right you can select which one you want right so go back here but however we'll go with the west users which is a recommended one automatically from Microsoft it says uh, uh, secondary is a uh, readable or uh, secondary it's only readable and the target server we don't have so we need to configure a target server for the geolocation I mention as geo target MySQL admin so it will select the location automatically as west us okay so click on select and uh, so in geolocation server also we have a, an option where we can select the, uh, the elastic database pool but however uh, it is showing as locked here and you can see the it's going with a it's a pricing tire with the basic right which is which is the minimum All right just click on apply and click on ok here so it will set a geo replication of your primary uh, issue database to the uh, yeah to, to the nearest uh, uh, backend which is a, a, a west uh, a west us in this case so it says uh, It is creating now you can see the map it's showing it is creating the geo replication so when that is done it will show a, a complete uh, a connected uh, a line between the primary and the secondary one the reason why we should have a geo replication because for the failure of the database where the primary is down you can always switch to the uh, secondary which is in geo location right so that the clients will not have the connectivity issues the application downtime will will reduce so you can see here it says uh, the status is seeding right now you can see uh, the deployment succeeded right so it says uh, deployment succeeded now you can see uh, there is a, a line uh, to your primary and secondary if you scroll down here it says um, the primary and the secondary the failure there is no failover policy here it says none right if you click on the secondary one you can have a a forced failover to the secondary one okay and um, so this is how you will configure the geo, -re geo replication from the primary and the secondary so um, thank you so much for uh, for watching and stay tuned um, for next video where uh, I will show how to uh, sync uh, to other databases and how to configure a fine tuning for your Azure SQL database thank you and have a nice day